understand why every year, you know, I see new year, new me, right? And I'm not going to be talking about none of that. F new year, new me. No one cares because at the end of the day, it's new year, no one knew you. You're going to do the same bullshit you've been doing. Nobody cares about you. Even if you change your life, you could have lost 500 pounds. There's still going to be that hating ass bitch in the back writing, oh, well, you didn't even lose that much weight. And nobody really cares at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on to the real video. Things I don't understand. Cause like, do you guys ever like see some shit happen and you're just like, what the f Me too. So I'm making a video about all the shit that I did not understand why. I never understood why we have all this technology, right? Flying this, flying that, automatic this, automatic that, flying toasters. We got guns that are shooting bullets around the corners, all this crazy shit. But a drop of snow falls on the ground and our cars can't drive. People swerving everywhere, crashing all over the place. What's the point of all this technology? All we're always bragging about all this stuff we can do, how we can fly, go to different places, do all this cool stuff. But niggas are dying at home over two drops of water hitting the damn street. Millions and and millions of dollars goes toward finding one cure, one cure for cancer. It's been a minute. You guys aren't taking it. It's been a minute since cancer's been around. If cancer turned people into some walking dead shit, I mean like airborne, people biting, eating each other, doctors have a cure for cancer like this. Just take two pills a day, my nigga, one in the morning, one at night, make sure you have food with every meal when you're eating it to digest it. You know, two weeks you should be seen on recovery, four months and you should be fine. I'll see you later, man. Peace. I don't understand why girls get so discouraged watching Victoria's Secret models. Those girls are fine as hell in the face, but they're like 21.5 pounds, you know? Fucking weigh as much as my chihuahua. I don't know about you guys, but like, I'd be scared walking past a Victoria's Secret model because like, I'll walk past her, you know, the wind's so strong for me, I just knock her ass over, you know, she falls, dislocates her shoulder, she's trying to sue me and shit. I just can't be having that, you know? A lot of these guys want to date these girls, but they have it twisted. You know, you can't have those cute moments, you know, where you play ball with your girl because she like 6'8". You fuck around with your girl trying to be all cute, she does one of these to you. I don't understand how Beyonce's working on an album, you know, agent didn't know, fans didn't know, my nigga Jesus didn't even know she was dropping an album. I don't understand why, you know, you'll talk to a girl, she says she's single, she's talking like she's single. Okay, so what are you doing next week? Like, do you want to do anything? Because, you know, I'm kind of free or whatever. But she's replying to you like this. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. No, right. Okay, okay. But randomly, completely out of nowhere, you call her up one day and you get this. Don't make me have to get ratchet on you. Like, say who it is and I don't know who you are. Like, what is up? Hello? Are you not hearing? Who is that? It's, 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 who is that? Well, you know, you know, remember that time where I told you we had the, <laughs> no, who is this? Yo, she's dating Steve Urkel, 2013 update. really cute right now, what you're wearing. Nigga, your man still looks like Steve Urkel though. 